Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. And the, for those of you returning, thanks for coming back. I'm Sandra and on this channel we do all kinds of Disney stuff. Today we have a straight from the parks hall and straight from the character warehouse. <laughs> Maybe this needs to be a series, straight from the parks. That sounds good. Okay, let's start with the park and then I'm gonna show you what I got from the character warehouse because the park is mostly, well, it's all pins. So. <laughs> I did go and pick up some of the new pins in the parks as well as um, at Disney Springs. So a couple, I think two trips for this set of pins, but I was looking at and picking up some of the new stuff that has come out as far as the Halloween stuff and also my monthly pins. So first of all, I picked up for the month of August the new um, parade pin. So it is the Three Caballeros. And this is the Walt Disney World version uh, for the month of August. And I showed in one of my earlier videos, the one that Connie picked up for me also for the month of August, I think. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I get out of, out of sorts with um, the delivery and timing of these, but um, this one's super cute. You can see the glitter. Oh, I, I don't remember all of their names. I just, you know, I just looked at this and it's at, on the tip of my tongue, but I don't have it. So <laughs> they have the little um, uh, Mexico Pavilion uh, behind there where you can see them and see the ride, but they have that lovely glitter on there. It is such a fun ride. And this is a great um, addition to the parade pins. I'm finding it very interesting, the different things they're coming out with, like not all your typical attractions. So that's super fun. Okay, so that's the first one. Then I picked up a few of the Halloween pins. So this first one is a limited edition and it is an annual pass holders pin. And this is Mickey's pumpkin patch. So super cute. We got a lot of glare there today but I guess there's a lot of shininess in this pin. So you've got Mickey dressed as a skeleton. You've got the castle kind of haunted behind him and then a gravestone there. We got a couple of pumpkins and we've got uh, Mickey's pumpkin patch established 1928. And it does say Walt Disney World on the bottom. So this is the Walt Disney World annual pass holder um, exclusive pin. So, and this one was, I forgot to say the other one. The other one was $19.99 and that's before my discount for being a pass holder. And then this one was also $19.99 before discount. So super cute, Mickey. And then this is a fun one, not something I collect. I got this one for a trader, but how fun is this? This is a limited edition one as well that came out this month and it is Hocus Pocus. And it has featuring, um, Minnie Mouse, Daisy, and Clarabelle as the three sisters, Sanderson sisters, and that is also super cute. I think this one glows in the dark. I didn't think to, can I tell this way? No, <laughs> but I think that, um, actually there may be some on this one too. I'm sorry guys, that's what I forgot to do for this one, but I will see if I can um, show the glow and maybe I will insert those photos if I can. But this is a cute one. This is also limited edition. I forgot to mention the edition sizes on the other one. Let's see if we can see this one. Ooh, it's super tiny in there. Is it limited edition or, li oh, limited release on this one. So it's not an edition size. It's limited for the season. That's what the limited release usually means that they have them out just for a period of time. The one for the annual pass holder is a limited edition. So let's go look at that. And that one is, they sure don't make this easy. That looks like 3000 or 5,000. Hard to tell. So, but that one is, like I said, exclusive to annual pass holders. The Sanderson sisters one is not. And then I picked up one of the open edition ones for Halloween because I thought this would make a good trader and it is Stitch. So Stitch is a pumpkin. Connie, don't get excited. <laughs> this was for a trader. So I actually bought it thinking I'd trade it in my last pin and pop event last weekend, but I didn't um, get any offers that kind of met the value. And um, when I say value, like 
because it's new and it's a park pin, like I had a lot of offers with like a box lunch pin or um, something to that equivalent, hidden Mickeys. And so I hold out on some of those, um, unless there's something I really, really want. I mean, it, it's all subjective when you're trading. But that's a fun one, and I'm sure, I bet this one glows too. I apologize, I'm gonna insert that because they must all do that. Maybe. <laughs> this one was another pass holder. Let me see, make sure. I believe it's the pass holder symbol is up here, and it is the Haunted Mansion pin. So this is another limited edition, and you have the, um, what do you call those? The heads there on the post. There's a word for a bust. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. I'm thanking myself here. Oh guys, it's a silly day. Okay. These were $17.99. The stitch one I think was $14.99. Is that what yellow is? I don't have that receipt in front of me and it's not on the back. So when they're just marked, I guess I need to, wow, this is on this card. Good. Okay. So this is the Haunted Mansion one. And it is limited edition size. Oh, again, limited release, not limited edition. I have the glasses on. I don't know what's going on. I have one on the card still because I got two of these for trading. So I know these will go really, really well. There's so many Haunted Mansion lovers out there. This was $17.99 before discount. And with two of those, that is the last ones I got from the parks for these last visits, I guess I should say. And I was also picking up um, some for friends. So I had another um, one of the parade pins that's a uh, pickup for somebody. Okay, so now Character Warehouse. It is just the luck of the draw when you go there. Sometimes I go there and I walk out with literally nothing. And then other times, it's a, a buffet, you know, and there's so many great things. I went in there this time with the intention of Halloween costumes. Um, they have a lot of the princess dresses sometimes or the kids things. I was looking for my grandchildren and one of the items I don't have to show, it's actually in my car to be returned because um, I bought the Bruno costume for my five-year-old grandson and he looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Like literally it's just the pair of pants and it's the um, poncho that he wears. And I thought it would be fun and funny, even if it wasn't for Halloween, I, kids like dress up. And so I'll pick up stuff like that just for dress up. And um, first of all, he thought the pants were Hulk pants because they were short and um, it was hilarious. But yeah, he looked at me like, um, what were you thinking grandma? So me and his mother had a great laugh over that one but I did find another costume. They had so many that were so reasonable and marked down 25% off. And this is Anna's dress. You guys look at this costume. Okay. So it's a little wrinkled cause I had it in a bag, but that's okay. Um, it's been sitting there waiting for me to show you guys this one. The cape even comes off. How beautiful lovely little dress for our little princesses. Now, the unfortunate part is they did not have my granddaughter size. Let me just show you the rest of that cape. How gorgeous is this? And then it's purple on the inside. I remember seeing two little girls when I went to see Anna and Elsa and the two little girls were fighting over um, borrowing the cape. One had a different dress and she was just over the moon over her sister's dress that had a cape and please let me try it on and <laughs> it was so cute but these in the parks let me find that price tag oh it's not on here but i believe they're like 50 dollars. i got this for 7.99 guys 7.99 okay i said it is not my granddaughter's size but i have other granddaughters that are little and will eventually be in these sizes <laughs> and even if i sold it or gifted it to somebody. I just couldn't pass it up for seven bucks. It's, it's just too cute with the, um, uh, cape and everything. And you can be Anna and be beautiful dressed as a princess. They also had adult costumes. I did not look at those at the time, but I think I'm going to go back and check some out. Um, I did get my granddaughter a Mirabelle one as well. That's not here. Cause I already gave it to her. I forgot about filming those. 
um, but she did love that one and they had that in her size uh, but I will keep looking and you just need to check I mean if you're coming to town you're visiting find a way to get there because you just never know um, it's close by for me at least one of them is so I can stop in every now and then the other thing I picked up is an ornament and I'm loving I guess I've always loved and have a few but I love ear hat ornaments and so anything that comes out especially at a discount I would like to add to my collection some way I'd like to find a really cool way to display them because the ear hats don't feel like just a Christmas ornament to me it's something I want to display with collections so I picked up the wish ornament so this is you have Asha and Valentino on the front and Ooh, what is his name I'm, I'm not going to remember the parents names or the the not parents like the king and queen there oh I forgot you also have star in the middle there but this is so cute and well done um, I don't have my light in the right place today but hopefully you can see that well these are always adorable and I just love the iconic ear hat um, of Mickey so having it in different themes for different movies I have several I have an Alice one I have a frozen one I know I have others the the newest one that I've been looking at oh I showed you guys an up one not too long ago that was new this year but also they have a Moana one that's gorgeous that I, I've got to get but if I got all of them I'd be a happy camper again this was only $7.99 so originally $29.99 in the parks $7.99 in the character warehouse and they actually had a lot of wish items that are in the park so I think that merchandise isn't doing as well as they hope maybe um, but that was great now keep in mind you do not get like I said $7.99 for the dress $7.99 for the um, the ornament you don't get additional pass holder discount in there if you're not aware of that but who needs it right those are some really good prices and by the way that dress is probably still in the parks for the $50 price so I find that happens a lot too um the Mirabelle dress still in the parks that one I don't think was $7.99 I think I might have paid $15 or $20 for at the character warehouse but again it's still $50 in the park so it's worth getting all right and here are the pins I picked up you've seen some other channels show these in fact I know I've seen a couple people show this one. So you have the rescuers, Bernard and Bianca in under a little um, umbrella in the rain. And this is really cute. And that one, ooh, let's see. I have a receipt here so I can tell you most of these are like $2.99 and $3.99. So this one was $3.99 for that at the Character Warehouse. Originally a yellow, oh, and it does, does it say here what the yellow was originally? Nope, it doesn't. But I think those were $14.99. Then I have a Sword in the Stone. So Arthur and Merlin. And that one was $2.99. So $2.99 and $3.99. These make the best traders. I have Horse Horse Collar. And this is a limited edition pin, not an open edition. And let's see, Horace was... I don't see him on here. Oh, here he is, horse, horse collar. Nope, that's not it. I will find him, but he was either $3.99 or $4.99, I believe, even for the limited edition. And it has a cute dangle on there with the 95 charm. Let's see how, this was originally a $19.99 pin. And it is a limited edition of 4,000. Oh, that's cute. It has horse horse collar like a emblem for him there as well so this is a nice little dangle pin for four or five bucks right okay and then we have it's bow time so we have bow peep and she was also an open edition this one was a silver so i think these are probably like a 12.99 and these yellows were probably 14.99 originally and so Bo was only $2.99 as an open edition pin at the Character Warehouse. Another great trader. And then I got two of these, but I already traded one. So I'm late in filming this because I've already gone through some of these. But they had a couple of the Haunted Mansion pins. And this is one that is also open edition for $2.99. Mm, yeah, $2.99 I believe for this one. 
and they had another one i also got the madame leota one that is in the same these are the colors like from last year i think around halloween time um, when they came out with new merch for Haunted Mansion, it was really pretty combination. And the Madame Leola one was very similar, all the same colors, about the same size, and that was super cute too. So that was awesome. I mean, I bought quite a bit. I bought the Bruno costume, the Anna costume, the ornament, a bunch of... Um, Oh, you know, I picked up some other stuff in this one too, so I can't even tell you what this receipt was. But you cannot go wrong with these $2.99, $3.99 pins. I know often people are looking for park traders, and you can go buy Hidden Mickeys. People do it on Amazon, on um, eBay, and they're horrible. They're all fakes. But this is a great deal. If you want to take your kids into the parks and let them do some trading, you can't beat $2.99. You can buy 15 of the same pin and let them trade all day the same pin but it puts at least um, legitimate pins into the park system trading system because there's so many scrappers out there that are just fake and not fun at all the boards are kind of boring because it's mostly scrappers um, so it's nice that you can use this method to get some authentic pins as traders and people who don't have access to these too find them um, very valuable. I mean, it doesn't matter that you're trading this for trading somebody a $2.99 pin for a $10.99 pin. It's all in what the value is to them. And, and it's great that you, you happen to get a break on these. So definitely take advantage if you're in the parks there or not in the parks near the parks and go to the character warehouse. They don't always have good pins. Sometimes they are flooded with the shelf is filled with all the same pins. There's a lot of marble, um, that's kind of you know some unpopular pins obviously go there and sometimes it's flooded with that but every now and then you go in and you find some some good finds so you find some good finds there you go technical terms um thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this seeing some of the the deals and some of the new pins in the parks and yeah let's make this a thing straight from the parks um that's it <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you enjoyed today from what I showed and leave me a comment down below letting me know that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to be able to show you some more soon and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.